Thank you for joining me in this special edition of Neocache Radio. I'm JJ. Both EOS and Neo have been billed as the Ethereum killer, and both have had concerted hype machines behind them. They are both building smart contract blockchains with the hope to offer the same level of service as the Ethereum public blockchain, but with more throughput. Scaling is the buzzword of the month, or even the decade, and EOS and NEO aim to achieve higher transactions per second by using a delegated proof-of-stake or a delegated Byzantine fault tolerance method. Delegated proof-of-stake is a system where a number of block producers actually stake coin to validate and create blocks. In the case of EOS, the block producers is set at 21 initially. These 21 nodes stake EUS coin and are granted the privilege of creating blocks and capturing those block rewards. EUS coin holders can vote for which nodes are staking through a one token, one vote method. Now, these EUS coins should not be confused with the EOS ERC20 tokens. The EOS website is very clear that, quote, the EOS tokens do not have any rights, uses, purposes, attributes, functionalities, or features express or implied, including without limitation, any uses, purpose, attributes, functionalities, or features on the EOS platform, unquote. Let me repeat that. The tokens you have have no guarantee of being used on the platform. Those that have bought the EOS token may have very well been scammed out of their Ethereum. Neo is using a slightly different consensus method called the distributed Byzantine fault tolerance. Now this is based upon the Byzantine generals problem an agreement problem involving trusted third parties and dealing with bad actors. The Byzantine generals problem has been a big issue for many years. You you know who solved the problem with Byzantine fault tolerance? Who's that? Satoshi Nakamoto in his paper, Bitcoin, a (laughs) peer-to-peer digital cash system. So if Satoshi solved the generals problem through the Nakamoto consensus, why are we back at this problem? Scaling. Once again, the buzzword. In a race to be the one blockchain that rules them all, many scaling methods are being attempted. The big issue with distributed Byzantine fault tolerance that NEO is using is two parts. One, the system only needs two-thirds approval or agreement. In other words, you can have an entire third of the system that is doing something different, and the system will work. Two, the system is starting out with a hand-picked seven validator nodes chosen by the NEO developers because they hold 51% of the coins. This is a huge red flag. The developers effectively have a 51% attack on the NEO blockchain. They control enough coin to pick the nodes regardless of the votes, and the nodes they pick can choose to accept or reject whichever transactions or smart contracts they wish. There is no recourse. Even if the public NEO token holders voted for a different node, they would only have 49% of the votes at most. This is not a blockchain I trust or recommend. Even if more validator nodes were allowed, the token distribution effectively squelches any dissenting opinions. Even if the tokens were distributed more widely and more publicly, there would still be huge issues. With both EOS and NEO, the voting process to select block validators is fatally flawed from the onset. First and most importantly, most people don't vote. Even with incentivizing voting, you're likely to get less than half of the overall turnout. Second, votes can be bought and sold for money, social capital, or promises for future favors. Finally, voting typically and most assuredly in the case of these two blockchains results in a plutocracy, where the whales make the decisions. Neither of these are better than what we have now with the current consensus methods employed by, say, Ethereum, Dash, or even Bitcoin Cash. Furthermore, I'm very interested to see how the EOS Ethereum token transfers over to the EOS platform. If there is not a direct one-to-one transfer, then the fundraiser, regardless of disclaimers, is fraudulent. Be careful out there. Anyone can buy hype, anyone can make claims, but not everyone delivers. For Neo Cash Radio, I'm JJ. Thanks for watching. Thank you.